Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Many of you guys requested this, so today we will see how to program the flash memory in SDM32. This video only cover those microcontrollers, whose memory is organized in pages, for example, Cortex M3 series, or M0 series. I will make another video about the controllers, whose memory is distributed in sectors, like in Cortex M4, or M7 devices. I am using STM32 F103, and it's a medium density controller, as mentioned here. There is not much to do in the setup. I am enabling the external crystal and setting the clock to run at max 72 megahertz. Save this to generate the code. Here is our main file. Let's include the library first. Put the C file in source directory, and header file in the include. Include the flash page dot h in the main. Let's take a look at the reference manual. F103 is a medium density device. As you can see, the main memory is divided into 128 pages. Each page is 1 kilobyte, and have a range of addresses associated with it. Now, we are going to program this page. You should always start as lower in the memory as possible. I will tell you the reason for choosing this later in the code itself. Let's open the C file that we included. Flash write data will write the data to the memory. It takes the start page address as the parameter and also a pointer to 32-bit variable, that you want to store. First of all, it will calculate, how many 32-bit variables you want to write. Then, it will calculate the number of pages, needed to store that data. Flash page size varies according to the controller. In my case, it is 1024 bytes, like it said in the datasheet. After calculating the number of pages, it will erase that many pages, starting from the start page, entered in the parameter. Now, it will start writing data. Each word takes 4 bytes, so we have to increment the address by 4. You can also write in half word, or double word, but then, the increment will also change. I have commented it out here. And finally the flash will be locked again. To read the data, we just need to access the memory. The data will be saved in this variable. Let's start now. I will write the data first. The memory location, that I copied from the datasheet. I need to define this variable first. Here, I am defining an array, which can hold two 32-bit variables. And we will pass the address of this array to the flash write. Let's build this. There is some warning, it's fine, let's go ahead and debug the code.
Here is the memory tab, let's enter the memory address, that we want to observe. You can see it's all clean here. I also want to show you another memory address. This is the start of flash memory, for F103 controller. And you can see, it's not empty. That's why I did not program the start of flash memory. It is already programmed to run this code, that we are using right now. I will explain this in a while, that what happens, if we try to overwrite this part of the flash. You can see, it's occupied up to this address and therefore, we should only program after this part. That's why I chose the lowest part of the flash memory. Let's run this now. We hit the breakpoint. Note that the memory location is empty right now. Now let's step over this. And you can see the data being stored in the flash memory. Other than writing the 32-bit numbers, we can also write some string to this memory. We will write hello world in the flash memory. Let's build and debug this. You can see, Right now the previous data is stored in the memory. And as we run this function, the data corresponding to hello world, is stored in the flash memory. I am creating another variable to store the data, that is read from the memory. This variable can hold four words. We will read from the same memory address obviously. I am putting our X data in the live expression. We can see the data here. Let's see if it is the same data. Our X data is in the integer format, so we need to select the same here. And yes, we have the same data present in the memory, and in our X data. Now I will show you, what happens when we try to write from the beginning in the flash memory. I will try to write the same data, that is hello world. Let's open the disassembly tab here. You can see the instructions are being stored in the same address, that we want to program with hello world. Let's enter inside this function. I will put another breakpoint at the arrays function. Let's enter inside the arrays function. I am stepping over now, just to show you guys, where the problem occurs. Now once we call this function, the entire page will be erased, and all the instructions will be erased along with it. And that's where the error occurs. 
as the instruction, that was supposed to execute, is not present in the memory. You can see the memory details here. This entire page is erased. The next instruction, that was supposed to execute, was present in that page, and is not there anymore. That's why I advised in the beginning, that we shouldn't write first few pages. Next, I will show you how to use ST-Link utility to see the memory details. See this, the beginning of the flash memory is again occupied by the instructions. We will go to the address, that we have programmed. You can see the hello world written to the location. This is it guys. In the final code, I will include a function to convert the received data, into the string format. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching. Be safe, and have a nice day.